Hey G-Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode is this cool I'm about right here in my hand and basically what this is is an alarm clock that is used as a clock as well and not only is it just a clock or alarm clock but it also has a projection clock option so that way you can actually project it onto your ceiling or your wall so first thing first I'm actually opening the product to show you guys what's included inside before I actually test it out so when you guys first open it up this is basically what it looks like inside so there's definitely a lot of stuff inside right here so let's take it out first alright so first thing I see inside right here they do Probably got the cable that you always want to use to power it on. So it does use a USB option right here to actually power it on, which is pretty cool. So that way you can use a wall charger or you can use a power bank to generate power to uh, recharge it. And next thing you see inside here, they do probably got a wall charger. So you can plug this into the wall to charge it up if you guys want to. Or like I mentioned, if you guys want to use a power bank to recharge it, you definitely can as well. Right here, they do probably got an instruction manual to teach you guys how to set a product and how to use it. And right here is actual product, which is a projection alarm clock. And they do give you guys a little stand that you can use to hold up the actual product itself, which is pretty cool. So let's take it off on the wrapper first. So when we take it out, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. So definitely really cool how the projection alarm clock right here is a glass. So that way when you guys wake up in the morning, you guys can see yourself in the glass. And right here is the projector. So you move all the way down this way, or you can move it this way as well, which is pretty cool. So that way you can actually project it onto the wall, or you can project it onto the ceiling as well, like I mentioned. But this is basically what it looks like in the front. And this is basically what it looks like in the back. So you can see they do have the speakers right here. And I believe this is the battery option that you can use to actually power it on if you guys don't want to use the cable option. And then right here, if you can see, this is basically where you want to plug in the cable to power it on. And they do have a USB option as well. So you can actually use this to recharge your device. And on the top part of the device, you can see the bunch of buttons right here. If you guys are curious about what each button does, they do probably guys instruction on what each button does on the instruction manual. So you can see right here, all the instructions right here for you guys. If you guys ever forget about how to use the product and each different button. And then right here, they do probably, and right here, they do have a little antenna that you can use for the radio station to get signal, which is pretty cool. And obviously, like I mentioned, they do probably guys a little stand option. So you can use this right here, just like that. And it basically use like a stand like this, which is pretty cool. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Before we turn it on and test it out, I do want to talk about some of the specs that's on here first. So first of all, the product definitely has a auto shut off mode. So after like five to 90 minutes, the product will turn off by itself. So that way you can save power. The product definitely does have a 15 level of volume setting. So you can turn it to the maximum volume of 15 and the lowest is one. And for this clock, they have the option for you guys to adjust the brightness level as well. So 100%, 60%, 25%, and you guys can turn it off. And like I mentioned for the product, it does have a mirror, so you can definitely do makeup on the actual product itself if you guys want to as well. And then for this plot, they do give you guys the option to use two alarm functionality on here if you guys don't want to send more than one alarm. And obviously, like I mentioned, this is a projection alarm clock. So if you guys want to use the projector to actually project the clock up to your ceiling or your wall, you definitely can as well. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now let me actually plug in the cable to show you guys how to use it and when it actually works first. So we want to use the cable that they provide for us right here to power it on. So I'm going to plug this side onto the power source that I have first. All right, so we got plugged in. Now for the other side, I want to plug in the back part here. All right, we got it in and you see that it is on, but you can see the time is kind of off. So we have to adjust that ourselves. So let's change the time on here first. So the way how you guys adjust the time and the date on here is by pressing down the set button right here. All right, and then now we can adjust it. So if you guys want 24 hours or 12 hours, you can adjust it however you guys want. I'm gonna do 12 hours and I wanna click set to go to the next one. And then now you can change the time on here. So then press up arrow or down arrow to change the time on here. So you see right here, it tells you guys PM or AM. So it doesn't show PM, then that means AM. So then just a time to what you guys want. So let's just say I do that for now. If I want to change the other one, press set and change that as well. So once you guys are done, you guys press set and it's all done. So this basically shows the time right here. And right here, you can see it shows more stuff here. So basically what it shows on this side here is the temperature and the humidity right here. So right now, indoor is around 80 degrees and outdoor is 57% humidity. And obviously, if you guys want to turn on the projector, you can turn on the light right here by pressing on this button right here. And then you can see the projector light turns on right there. So it's kind of hard for me to show you guys the button in this point of view. 
They managed to put this down on the table to give you guys a better point of view of the product first and show you guys all the different buttons and how to use it. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like, if you didn't see. If you guys notice right here, there's no like PM or AM, so that means that this is AM. If I were to change the time to another time, it will actually show PM right here. So let me show you guys what I mean. So I increase the time, see what happens. All right. So you can see the PM option pops on right there. So if you guys want to change this setting right here to show from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you always want to press on the last button right here, which is down arrow button. Press and hold it down. And see how it changes to Fahrenheit right here. So that is basically how you guys do that. If you guys want to turn on the projector light, you guys want to press on this button right here. Press it one time. And you can see right here, the projector light is on. Obviously, you guys can't see right now because it's still bright out. So I definitely have to bring it into the darkest setting to show you guys what it actually looks like. If you guys want to turn on the radio, you guys want to press on the radio button on top. All right, so that's the radio station. So when you guys first turn on the radio station, you guys want to sync up the radio first. So you guys want to press this button right here. All right, so once you guys are done syncing it, then start changing the radio station on here. All right, so that's how you guys use the radio station. If you guys want to adjust the brightness level of the display screen right here, you just have to press the middle button right here. So this is the brightest. Here's a dimmer one. Here's a more dimmer one. And here it's off. So there's four different brightness levels on here. If you guys want to turn on the sleep mode, you guys want to press this button right here. All right. So now it's on sleep mode. If you guys want to turn it off, press and hold down the same button and it turns off. You guys can turn on the alarm by pressing, you guys can turn on the alarm by pressing this button right here. You guys can turn it off if you guys want to as well. And that is basically everything that's on the product. So obviously, like I showed you guys earlier, the back part has a charging output and there's a speaker option right here. And the speaker option is for the radio station, the alarm clock, and etc. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Before I should test out the charging option here, let me show you guys what the projector looks like in a darker setting. All right, so I made the room slightly darker now. So let me actually test out the projector light to show you guys how it works and when it actually works first. So what I want to do right now is to actually adjust this option right here and push it down. So that way it can actually project onto the wall. So I want to project it somewhere around here. Let's turn on the light. All right, so you see right there, that is basically the time. So I'll show you guys the time and show you guys whether that's PM or AM right there. You guys can actually reverse it the other way by pressing the button down. If you guys can see. So basically now it's reversing the other side. If you guys want to reverse it back, you guys want to press and hold the button right there. And it changes back to that way right there. So it's actually really cool how it gives you guys that option. But you definitely see how bright the projector is. Even right now when it's not completely dark, it's still actually projected pretty well and you can see the time on there pretty nice. So if you guys want to project it onto your steel lane or your wall, that is up to you guys. But definitely really cool how they give you guys that option. Now let's go test out the charging output to show you guys whether or not that actually works. So I'm plugging this cable inside here first. All right, so we got it in. And then for the other side, we'll plug it onto my phone. All right, so we got my phone right here. If we plug it in, all right, so definitely use this to recharge your phone when you guys are using it as a clock as well, which is pretty awesome. So now you can start a quick test of the product you can definitely see that she does work and it works quite well. Super easy to use. You basically have everything on here, such as the alarm clock, a regular clock, a projection option for the clock, and you guys also use a radio station on here. And you guys also get the option to use it as a charger option as well to recharge your devices. That is actually really, really cool. And of course, I cannot forget about the fact of how it has a mirror built into the product. So if you guys want to look at yourself in the morning or if you guys want to do makeup, you can definitely do that as well on here. But that is basically everything that is on the product. Now that we can unboxing and testing of the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this part in particular, I definitely have to say that it is worth it if you guys are trying to look for an alarm clock that has all the functionality that I just mentioned, such as the fact that how it has a charging option, a radio station, an alarm clock, a projection alarm clock, and a mirror option. If you guys want all of that, then this product is super worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It?
Peace.